always been there for me, Dad. Now I'm here for you. This is my chance to say thank you for all that you've done. I love you, Dad. This check is the least I can do. marks the 10th anniversary of the government's 2020 vision, a groundbreaking policy that was introduced to combat the effects of overpopulation. Joining me in the studio this morning are Duncan Moore MP, best-selling author, and Claire Hazelwood, Respect Aid spokeswoman and campaigner. Duncan Moore, in your recently published book, <sighs> The Golden Poppy, you claim that the government's decision to introduce this legislation was both necessary and gracious. How successful has it been? No, I'll put it this way, Charlie. By the end of the noughties, Britain was bursting at the seams. The baby boom generation were just achieving retirement age and putting unbelievable pressure on the NHS. Uh, the government felt that it had absolutely no choice but to take drastic measures to save the country from collapse. That said, you do discuss later on in your book how the policy came up against opposition from human rights groups who had a particular aversion to the fact that transfer became compulsory when the subject became 75. Well, drastic times require drastic measures, Charlie. The nation was ready to fight, and our legislation provided the tools. Early bird catches the weed, eh? Oh. Oh, come on, John. Don't try that one on me. You know you're fit as a fiddle. <laughs> You've got the surrender flags up in good time, I see. Oh, Robert's working away, so I get to have Thomas for a few extra nights. I bet he can't wait. You're in a good mood today, John. Positively chirpy. Oh, Mary, it's a big day today. Oh, no, I completely forgot. It's the 15th already. Where does the time go? Come here. So how old are you now, young man? Oh, Mary, stop that. I'm much older than I look. Come on, tell me. Oh, John, I'm so sorry. When did you get the forms? You should have told it's me. It's all right, Mary. I'm not going anywhere. I spoke to my son last week. We went out for lunch. He told me he's taking care of it. Daniel said he's he's going to pay the fee. John, do you realise how much that's going to cost him? Of course, Mary. It's a lot. But we talked about it. He told me the first cheque would be in the post this morning. Look, um, I've got something to show you. Have you got a minute? Um, sure. Yeah, um, would you give me a moment? Duncan, I don't care what you call it. This is legalised murder. And it's got to stop. Miss Hazelwood, please calm down. Let me give you another no, example. No, let me give you one. My grandmother was a bright, strong, healthy woman. The leader of human rights campaigns for over 35 years. The day after her 75th birthday, she was still very much in her prime. Oh, hello. I mean, she was Happy birthday, John. Oh, you should. When she got have. back from her morning jog, there were two men waiting for her. They didn't even let her get changed. They dragged her into a car and took her away, and I never saw her again. Dignified. Mr Moore, I don't call that dignified. I call it disgusting. What on earth have you got that on Duncan? for? No, don't. I don't. Leave it on. I just like to hear the voices, you know. 
Egypt, <laughs> and your grandmother, God rest her soul, Come on. was this probably away. much closer to death than anyone could have realised. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Miss Hazelwood, no. please. Claire, I seem to have struck a raw nerve. You kept all this pretty quiet, John. Calling all applicants for Staple Hill Flower Show. I thought they weren't running that any longer. No, they are. It's so the last year, though. Mm -hmm. The winner gets a special cup, though. Look. Oh. That's something to look forward to, eh? What's this for? Oh, it's for the bagging. Croissants are a difficult plant to grow. They need a lot of protection and a lot of nurture. Seems like a lot of trouble just for a flower. Oh, but seeing them like this reminds you just why you went to all that trouble. It makes it all worthwhile. Do you think it's enough to win? Mm, that's out of my hands now. This is not a George Orwell novel. This is reality. The point, Miss Hazelwood. Oh, once enough, really. Take the rest back to Thomas, please. Oh, John, this is all for you. It's your birthday, remember? You're only young once. Well, exactly the problem. You, you send out all these broadcasts and banners and bits of paper as if, as if you're giving the elderly some kind of choice. Now, firstly, as I've already explained, any family members considering the alternative must be prepared to pay for any base level costs for their parents for their remaining years. But that's exactly the point. Most people don't have that kind of money. These people deserve to live. The right to die should and must remain our own. Please give me the chance to finish my point, Miss Hazelwood. It's not a matter of being saved or otherwise. It's a matter of dignity. This is the one I'll be going to. It looks really friendly and relaxing. They give you a week to settle in before the procedure and you can choose another option if you don't like needles. You know, just in case Daniel doesn't... You should be getting back. Great. He's probably finished his work now. Okay, John. Thank you for the tea. That is that this is all about preserving the right to live. And I, for one, when I reach 75 years of age, whatever happens, will be proud to walk through that door for myself, my children, and my country. Please accept this, Jack. Wherever you go, we want you to know that you're in safe hands. I love you, Dad. When we return, our guests will be discussing your calls and emails, so... I didn't mean to. Just go inside the house. Oh, I'm so sorry, John. I should have been watching him. I'll pay for the damage, of course. I don't know how he could be so careless. It's all right, Mary. It doesn't matter. No, he should apologise. No, it's not his fault. Don't blame the lad. But your flowers. Oh, I can grow more flowers. There'll be other flower shows. Granny, the postman wants you to sign for something. As we have seen, it's very difficult to come to terms with the reality of old age. But it holds no promise other than continuing physical and mental deterioration. What could be more unfair and inhumane than allowing them to endure and struggle for their remaining years? But she has to understand that this was the best option under the circumstances. Why not allow them simply to be honored for their long and fruitful lives? By transferring them, we can give them the send-off they deserve. He picked them himself. He thought maybe you could enter them into the flower show instead. Thank you, Thomas. Sorry about your curse. Chrysanthemums. So did he? Yes, yes, it came. 
So you don't have... Everything's going to be fine, Mary. Oh, John, that's wonderful. Please leave your message after the tone. Oh, hello, Daniel. This is your father speaking. Yeah, I, I was just trying to catch you. <laughs> but I suppose you're busy again. Don't let them work you too hard, eh? Oh dear, I don't I don't really know why I'm calling. I I suppose I just wanted to thank you for all your kindness. I didn't I didn't expect it. Look, I'd hate you to think that you had to do it out of that you were obligated. I love you, son. Why don't you and Gloria and the kids come and pay a visit to your old man when you can? Soon. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.